Hi everyone, I just thought I would come on here and do a little um, pack with me. Uh, we're going away tomorrow, we're going to my friend's wedding, uh, which is hence the reason for the patchy tan. I haven't had my bad shower yet and I actually haven't tanned my face. Um, I never do it because I always get really wor like worried that um, it'll go patchy, which it probably won't, but I'm not very good at that kind of thing. So I just sort of do it with makeup, which yeah, not ideal. Anyway, so I just thought I would yeah, do a little pack with me. So I've got my, I don't know if you can see. So I've got my case here. And I just thought, so we're gonna get, I'll show my dress in a bit, but we're gonna sort of drive there and get close to it and then maybe just throw our dresses on to the service station close by. So um, I'm just thinking toiletries now. So. I'm gonna wash my hair before I go, but nonetheless, I am going to take shampoo because I just feel like you just never know. My sisters for my birthday got me this JVN hydration set, which comes with um, shampoo, conditioner, a mask, oh, and a day cream. Well, oh, how nice, where do I day cream? I've never tried any of this stuff. My sisters always got me the coolest things. So I'm just going to, but they're like quite a good size. Hydrating conditioner, yes. So those, those two can go in. Um, oh, actually, sensitive razors because my legs get so dry and itchy. I could do with being able to get one of those out, actually. Hmm. I do have a travel size Kerastase tiny baby one which I do love that and that is the blonde shampoo so I'm thinking maybe maybe I will take that one and maybe just the conditioner I think I did have a travel conditioner somewhere else but who knows nail file because you can oh travel pan 10 and not ideal but as we're traveling it's okay travel tangle teaser love that uh soap and glory shower gel i just feel like you can't really go wrong scrunchies oh this tiny carousel's oil i love this uh, i feel like this would be a good one for holiday so it'd be good not to break into this and i do have some other oils hmm we've got a can't cope must you all got a tiny tiny baby one i got this one i got the big one oh and you can just put it in your handbag i mean is that not the most fabulous thing ever i might pop that in my handbag already so this is the little handbag we're going to be taking i think and it's already got standard fenty gloss bomb love that i presume that that's what i'm going to do with my makeup anyway put that in there um mm -hmm. Okay, what's this? Shine drops, some more of the JVN stuff. Shine drops, okay, I, nice. That's nice. What's this? Hair conditioner, ooh. Grapefruit face cleanser. Malinin go test. So I've not used this before, but I think I'm gonna take that with me. So that's my face wash. So what have we got now? Shampoo. Oh, wait, wait I didn't need that conditioner. Okay, then let me see here. What else do I need? Don't need tampons, thankfully. Mm -hmm. Ah, toothbrush. Now I could do with one of these, Chris. But or we can take our electric. We'll take our electric because I'm trying to make an effort to actually use the electric ones. Why can I not get into this? Then, okay, travel toothpaste and mouthwash, adorable. This hair mask, I think I'm gonna put this on tonight, so I've not tried this before, I think it's Jizu, Gizu. Um, I think I'm gonna put that on tonight, because that looks like it should be really quite nice. Oh, mm. so, and travel Morton Brown 
shower gels. I don't see any of those, but okay. So we don't need any of those. Don't need any of that stuff. So it's just face products. So I've got this simple soothing eye balm, which I think I might put in. Okay, just went and got more things. Okay, so um, even though I've actually run out of it, um, I still like, really like to use the Chanel Number no. Five Shower Gel and Body Oil. I think it just really complements any of the Chanel sort of um, perfumes, which makes me think: Do I take and use this Misty Dior or do I use Coco Mademoiselle because that one goes nicely with it? <sighs> oh my god, I just love this so so much. I love having a travel size, but I think I have a travel size of the. Coco Mademoiselle that might fit in there actually, so I might just go and have have, have a look at that. Chris's deodorant, because you know, we all need your deodorant. So those are those two things that I'm going to keep out and then to take my makeup off at night, I've just got the Kylie Skin Exfoliating Cleanser, uh, toner even, which I'll probably just use um, after I've washed my face and then I've just got these little cute pajamas I'm gonna pack from H&M. I got these actually years ago. They're so cute and light. I'll straighten my hair in the morning so I'll probably add those bits in. That's the little top that goes with it. Um, and the same with my makeup so I think that I will do that in the morning. Um, I'm going to pack Rennies. I always need Rennies do with a bigger so I'm going to just put a sheet of those I need an outfit for the next day but I think I might travel in the outfit and then take it off when we get there and then wear that the next day because that's so much easier I also got these earrings from oh, TK Maxx which I just thought were really really cute um right Hard is obviously not going to fit, so that's ideal. I'm going to wear those for those, so I'm just going to pack both for now. Like that, and then I'm going to wear this Gucci watch, which I absolutely love. So I'm just going to leave these things out to make sure that I don't forget to put them on. Okay, so it's a sign. So I also have a tester of um, another of the Misty Or um, perfumes. So I feel like it's a sign that I should just take that and wear it because it will fit nicely in the bag. I'm trying to think. Pajamas. Chris's suit. Just got my dress here, which I got from Reformation or Reformation last year so I think I think we're good to go um I sent her a present I've sent her money I've sent the bride box which we saw me making the previous one with her little bits in so we're going to drive down in sort of comfies so that means we need a different outfit for the day of the morning of I'm going to be super last minute and just do it tomorrow morning I have so much to organise. My mum is coming tonight. We need to put the car seat in her car. I've written her a list of what to do with Ophelia. Then I feel like I need to put another layer of tan on because Ophelia is essentially slobbered all over me today. Um, she hasn't got any of it in her mouth, don't worry, but she just sort of, you know, gets stuff everywhere. So I feel like I might need to put another layer of tan on. I need to put her the car seat in the car. And then tomorrow we need to go in normal clothes, get changed in a service station. Oh, I went my teeth before. Um, put the whitening in while we travel. Got the last tube to use up. And then I want to do my hair and makeup in the morning. So I might sort of film myself getting ready. See what you think of me putting my makeup on. Probably hilarious. I'm trying to do my hair very gently um, because as it happens, the postpartum hair loss is kicking in and it's starting to gently fall out which is absolutely devastating and really freaking me out so if anybody else out there has been through that and has any ideas or suggestions as to how to cope with it please let me know <laughs> okay see you in the morning night guys <laughs>
So everyone, we have come to Nuthurst Grange Hotel for my friend's wedding and look at this room. It is absolutely gorgeous. We have two double beds, um, a big mirror, that's me, hi. Feeling full of my sausage sandwich that we got on the way. Look at this huge room and little sitting area. I love that so much and the little teas, nice tea bags too and a natural teapot, adore that, with these cute little comfy chairs. I love it when you have like a nice actual area to sit down in, I think that's so nice. I thought I'd click the kettle on, but have I? Is it plugged in? No, it is not. Okay, okay, cool, right, now we're in. Um, Have this little storage cupboard, which it's got things in it, like an ironing board, which is actually really helpful because I ironed Chris's shirt and I imagine I did a very poor job of it. And then look at this lovely bathroom. I mean, we're downstairs, so that's not super, super private, but that's okay. And then, oh my God, travel minis, absolutely dead. I love these. Cleansing bar, I mean, come on. Shower cap, that's just so cute. Calming skin balm, just... Okay, we love that plus as well. I forgot my body lotion, which is devastating. And this huge shower. So that's amazing. So, oh, angle and lighting. So yeah, we're here. So that's so, so exciting. This is my little outfit. Um, feeling a little bit bloated because, uh, you yeah, know, so you can see my little outfit. It's just, it, it just kind of matches. So it wasn't really supposed to, but I was sort of in love with it. Just Primark joggers, but anyway, um, yeah, I'm so, so excited. You can sort of see the outside. I'm so excited to be here. We got here super early because I'm ridiculous and made us leave super early, which we, well, I mean, I'm glad because now we've got time to get dressed and get ready and relax, have a cup of tea and then get to the, the church. I also, I think I'm going to go over my hair with a straightness, which will be good. I mean, I really don't want to because I'm really worried about the postpartum hair loss and making it worse, but obviously it's a wedding, so I don't want to, you know, have bad hair for today you know and I sort of believe that if their hair's gonna fall out it's gonna fall out maybe as well top up the makeup I'm not sure I didn't do it super heavy but I never really wear it super heavy heavy anyway so I, I don't know but yeah so happy to be here so grateful that we've arrived Ophelia is doing well so all is good hey guys sorry about my messy hair and general appearance I just thought I'd jump on here and say hey from this week. I haven't actually started vlogging yet for this week. Um, we haven't really caught up since the wedding, which was last Saturday, and that was just so much fun. It was my first time away from Ophelia, which was a big deal. Um, but it was really nice. It was really, really nice to like, yeah, kind of be away and just be in, be with my friends, be present in the moment. Because I think the thing is like now that obviously we have Ophelia who's making a lot of noise down there. Um, and any time that I'm with her, I'm obviously, I want to be present with her. So even when I'm with my friends, if she's there, you know, I'm thinking, when does she need the next feed? Is she tired? Does she need to change? Is she okay? Am I ignoring her? Does she, you know, need me to look at her? <laughs> um, and so it's really, really difficult to then like focus on what they're saying and, you know, like make sure that I'm being a good friend to them as well. And just also enjoy myself and just chatter about things like either all things baby or actually all things definitely not baby because that's really, really nice as well. Um, you know, I feel like your head is so full of it all the time, which is good and you do want to talk about it, but you also really don't want to talk about it. Like when you're with your friends, you want to be like, oh my goodness, let's dip back into the real world and talk about the other things. So... That was really, really nice. The place was in Sully Hall. I think it was called Nuthurst Grange and it was just gorgeous. The, pe the people there were so nice. We left ridiculously early, but that was my fault. Um, and we got there quite early. So they let us check in and get dressed and things. So it's just a fab day. And it made me so excited because we're getting married next year and it actually kind of gave me the push to start organizing. Um, I've really not been doing anything um, organizing wise. I mean, obviously I have just had a baby. She's four months today. Um, but our families have been trying to push us to do more things. Like we've booked the venue, but that that's all we've booked. But now I feel kind of more excited about doing things with that bit more inspired and also realizing how many things that I need to do, like favors and like everything. 
<laughs> we've done just nothing so that's really exciting i feel like i can take you along with me whilst i'm making the decisions so far we've booked the venue and we have actually booked a church because sorry um we booked a church because um i just feel like i come from a catholic family i am not a practicing catholic myself i'm not actually religious so you could say it's the it's just it's in like as much as i don't believe it's getting a bit deep this in religion anymore i also really enjoy the tradition of it and also it feels like home for me because that is what i've been brought up with so i feel like whilst i don't believe it i can sort of respect it a bit and i also think that churches are just so beautiful so yes whilst i'm not religious yeah i i still feel like it makes me really happy to know that i'm getting married in a church it's a bit of a strange one i feel like anybody else that is no longer religious but you went to like a, say a catholic or girls school or anything like that can kind of relate maybe hopefully um and to a number of other sh very strange things too like hitching your tights up in public and thinking it's acceptable it apparently isn't um but yeah so that's all we've bought so far and i've got loads and loads of ideas so i'm going to start like making sort of more wedding vlogs uh, if anybody's interested um and if not i won't but yeah so i just thought i'd jump on here and say hey um i've got a few things coming up this week so like gonna go to home bargains whoop um and oh wait i need to nip out to do more than just home bargains because i need to buy some presents for a barbecue we've got on saturday so we're taking along to that and um it's bank holiday weekend so a couple of other bits and bobs maybe whilst i get ready and do my makeup and stuff so yeah just thought i'd say hey